When it comes to Quest 2 grips, my go-to for a long time has been the Kiwi Top version because of the extra length, the nice hand straps, the tighten ability. But one thing that always bothered me about them that I actually went and fixed myself, I still had to swap out batteries every so often. So I just got a set of rechargeables, a set of magnetic chargers, and I charge these inside here now. Well, Abica is looking to answer that problem with their own set of rechargeable grip covers that look a lot like the Kiwis. Let's check these out. It's been a while since we needed the small sharp unboxing knife, but when there is tape in the way, there's only one answer. And that's this obviously very efficient and helpful knife that doesn't make my life a whole lot harder using it. There is a code JBRAT15 that'll get you 15% off, although we haven't gotten to the point of testing these to see if we're going to recommend them or not yet, but keep that in mind in case we do. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like the cube, but there is a very obvious difference. Look at that shape. It's got some curves to it. That's interesting. So very similar look and feel here. Pull to tighten, push the button to loosen. Oh, so now it becomes a solid unit. I kind of thought there might be like something here where you hook it on to charge the battery through there. But instead of having a door at all, it goes all the way to the bottom. And that might also account for some of this unusual shape. Huh. Oh, wow. And the batteries. Okay. This is, this is getting real interesting. Look at these batteries. So you can see the contact points. You can see where those fit inside of a set of controllers. And it looks like you're just not going to have any sort of battery door anymore. I'm intrigued by the design, actually. I feel like this might be pretty cool. I'm going to do just one because I want to be able to compare these in hand. I might actually be retiring my main set of Kiwi grips after this today if this works out. I do have a set of red and blue on my other headset that I've been using and they are a lot newer so they haven't gotten as worn out if you see these are on their last limb see how that's starting to rip there so I got my right controller so big R there for right <laughs> and that's what that looks like in there interesting and then these are gonna slip in here hooks in just like the original battery door and just like the Kiwi grip goes over the top just like the Kiwi grip it does have a real real thick attachment point there which is nice the Kiwis do a pretty good job too but we've seen with some of the other grips they don't make them thick enough and then the grips want to come undone so this does not look like that's going to be an issue it's definitely a very unusual look now I'm so used to the Kiwi grips like this look is different I will say though the ergonomics of that actually feels really good because instead of this part being a little a little fatter and kind of sticking in your hand here. This gives this part of your hand room to kind of curl around it a little bit. Huh. I will say one thing I was really hoping for here that is disappointing me a little bit is it's USB-C and it just plugs in to charge them. Oh, but you can see that it's charging through the grip even. Okay, it's redeeming it a little bit. I was hoping that it would be a magnetic tip on there and these things would just magnetically snap in. I didn't think that I was gonna be plugging this in. I gotta say, this is pretty well thought out. If you're used to the Kiwi grips, you're used to them being really thick all the way to the top. I am noticing it's a little thinner at the top right there. Makes it just a little bit less comfortable because I kind of feel this buckle pushing. It's not a deal breaker, it doesn't feel bad, but when you're used to that Kiwi softness all the way up, it is a change you're gonna notice. The loosening and tightening on the Kiwis is a little smoother. It moves a little bit easier when you do it. And that could just be because they're older and they're a little more, more, a little more worn out. This one, when you pull it, you kind of feel it catching in there. And when you loosen it, kind of same thing. It makes a little bit more noise. I think that the battery, the setup, the internals to charge it may have added a little bit more weight to this. 213 grams. Wow, actually no, this one weighs more still. Is that right? Yeah, six grams difference. It's weird. I would have thought it weighs more. Your battery can change that depending on what kind of battery you have inside the Kiwi. I think it's because this one just feels more solid. It's a little bit less plastic frame. It's a little bit more molded to the shape of the controller. So it feels stronger in hand, which makes you kind of think that it weighs more. Grip versus grip. I feel like I like the way this feels a little better than the Kiwi. I'm really surprised, like squeezing it. I like that better. This part is a little bit more comfortable than this part. The fact that it recharges is really cool. I'm gonna take these away and do some game for a bit, but I'm gonna do one in each hand, see how I feel doing Beat Saber, pistol weapon stuff, check out some other games. I feel like having them one hand in hand is really gonna give you that comparison. But keep in mind, unless the Kiwi's on sale, you're paying a lot less for this. And the fact that it comes with rechargeable batteries, the way it's designed, this is a much better value, but I need to see how they feel side by side. So I'm gonna keep one in each hand and I'll be right back. I am surprised, but overall, I definitely am liking the feeling of gaming with these a lot more. That bit of contour they have here, the shape actually of this, even though I was feeling like it's kind of uncomfortable here, I feel like it stays on my hand a little more solid. It just allows when my hand's flexing or changing, 
this contour seems to keep it where I want to be, where the Kiwis I do find sometimes when I'm playing, I reach over and push them back up because they kind of slip down. This doesn't seem to have that issue. The fact that you don't have this battery door anymore means you don't feel this ridge. It all just feels smooth and nice. One issue that people have brought up with the Kiwi top version grips before is that the way they're designed in the front, they are completely blocking two of your infrared lights. Not necessarily an issue for people like me who are usually playing games where your face, your controllers are facing forward, or people who play table tennis or something and they're turning this, it can potentially be blocking some of that. Abaca here has tried to make this as thin as possible, meaning it's only covering a little bit of those two inner lights. Definitely quite an improvement there. Still not perfect, but I would say they've gone about as thin as they can here while still keeping it durable and solid feeling and to try and not give you any tracking issues. There's nothing I can fault about how these feel and how these game. And in every way, I actually like them better than the Kiwis, which really shocked me. I've been using the Kiwis for a long time. A couple considerations to take. They are 1.2 volt batteries that are used in here. There is some theories that because Oculus recommends 1.5 volt batteries, that they are better for tracking. And that's something I've actually brought up on the channel before. There are a lot of people who make the argument though, because these are nickel metal hydride, because of the way modern batteries are designed, a 1.2 volt can actually hold its voltage for longer and stay higher, less drop off than a 1.5 volt. Something I obviously don't have the electronics to test and really show you here, but people say that they haven't seen any sort of tracking issues with these where I've seen tracking issues but those were the really cheap crappy rechargeable batteries that I owned before and then switching to high quality 1.5 volts it seemed better that is a question of how these are going to be but so far I haven't seen a single tracking issue another consideration with these batteries is they are a thousand milliamp hours which is a little low when it comes to your regular batteries even like these ones that I use which aren't the most expensive or nice batteries that I these 1.5 volts are 1500 milliamp hours and I only have to charge these maybe every few weeks, once a month, I just plug these in. But the thing about these in conjunction with that is even though you'll probably wanna charge these at least once a week or maybe even more often, it's gonna be so easy with this that literally every time you're finished, you can just plug it in and be charging. My ultimate hope of what Abaca may do is that they're gonna now make a charging dock. Maybe it'll come with magnetic adapters, it'll drop in, especially with this shape here, it'd be pretty easy to make that something that just holds it like that, drops in, you get both these charging, your headset drops in and is charging all at the same time. That's my hope. And then of course, the only other thing, the Kiwis do come in a bunch of colors, which is fun and cool. So, so far it looks like Abaca is only coming in black, but that is one more consideration. Currently, Kiwis are on sale for the same price. That could go back up to normal, but we do have that 15% code. JBrat15 is gonna save you 15% if you wanna go this way. So I would say if you already have Kiwi grips, you like them, you're fine to stick with them. If you have like mine, they're starting to rip here and you're worried about the longevity. If I need to replace mine, I'd go Abaca. I really prefer these. And if you haven't quite pulled the trigger on any grips yet, these might be the better option to go for because now the battery problem is just solved for me. I'm really excited about that, but I hope there's a dock coming. So with all that, what do you think? Were you thinking about the Kiwis? Now you're gonna consider these. Have you already bought the Kiwis? Or have you been waiting and you're, you're gonna go this way? I'd love to hear in the comments section, but I wanna say thank you for coming out and being with us here today. And I'll see you in another reality.